Michael Pratt may be the best quarterback that comes out of this class in due time. Whatever team decides to draft him is getting not only a complete package at quarterback, but a guy that would definitely have a chip on his shoulder coming into the league. Today, we are going to break down Michael Pratt, why I think he's one of the best quarterbacks in the 2024 draft, and why any team thinking to draft him will elevate their quarterback rooms for years to come. On a slider scale similar to the Madden football games, I will rank arm talent, decision making, and athleticism Based on a 100 point scale, at the end of this video, you will have a comprehensive outlook on this player without having to know every detail about the X's and O's and also having a knowledgeable approach similar to an NFL scout. This is Sliders. Michael Pratt played four years at Tulane University as a three-star recruit out of high school. He entered the 2023 season ranking in many top 10 two-lane record book categories, including first and lowest interception ratio, first in passing efficiency, third in passing touchdowns, and fourth in completion percentage, just to name a few. Michael will later go on to rank number one in many of these categories. He was a 2023 American Athletic Conference Offensive Player of the Year. He ranks number 10 in many categories such as touchdowns and yards for a quarterback career in the American Athletic Conference record books. Despite never having a thousand yard receiver ever in his career, he was still a top 10 quarterback in his respective conference all time. He even helped Tulane in the 2022 Cotton Bowl upset then number 8 USC 46 to 45 with 234 passing yards, 83 rushing yards, and two passing touchdowns with no interceptions. Now that you know about Michael Pratt a little bit more as far as his college career and his accomplishments and some of the things that he's done, let's get into those categories that really break down a quarterback, starting with arm talent. I don't think it's a mystery to play the quarterback position that you need some type of arm talent or when you're going to the next level, that's pretty much one of the main things people look for when evaluating quarterbacks. Arm strength, accuracy, release, placement of the ball, things like that all are considered arm talent traits. So it's going to look like I'm totally hating on Michael Pratt and I don't like him. I really like Michael Pratt, but let me explain his arm talent. I'm going to give it a 29 out of 40. I want to teeter over the 30 mark, but this offense didn't ask him to do a whole lot. A lot of swing passes, a lot of passes to the tight end, short down and distance, just get a first down. And maybe we might zoom one down in the middle of the field if we're feeling froggy or if we're down and we need to, you know, get downfield. And he wasn't asked to do that a ton. So as far as like the development of Michael Pratt, I think that's a lot of things that he can work on. I think he was exposed to that a lot at the senior bowl as well. And I don't think he's gonna struggle with that type of stuff because the fundamentals are there, but a 29 out of 40 is not bad for where he was at Tulane. A lot of, a lot of plays out of shotgun as, you, as you're gonna see here as well. So let's get over to the film. Let's show you why his arm talent is really good and can be expanded on. So just sit back and listen and, and let me know your thoughts in the comments on what you think as well all right this first play i want to show off michael pratt's arm strength pass downfield he threw it about 57 yards from where he was standing hell of a throw gets it to the receiver unfortunately the receiver wasn't able to get full extension on the on the pass great coverage from the the two defenders here but what we want to look at is identifying you know what he can what he would consider the hot which would be that edge rusher number 23 was moving around quite a bit uh this looks like you know cover two man it could be seven man front for protection as you're going to see it breaks down he still gets the pass out single backfield here gets the pass that tight end was supposed to come up and block the the edge rusher here he identifies that uh, you know, right there late. And then what Michael Pratt's gonna do is get this ball out. I don't, I wanna go back to that. I don't like the, you don't like to see him bent up like this, Not like in the C formation here, but he gets the ball downfield. Nonetheless, a strong base. Gets it right downfield here and arms extended. It would have been on the money, just wasn't able to come down with it. And uh, we're gonna watch it from kind of the all 22 stance here. Fake handoff there. Strong base, gets it out. Nice spiral on the pass. Just wasn't able to be completed, but showing off his arm strength. All right, we're gonna get a look at why Tulane was so tricky and kind of this pro stylish kind of offense that they ran. So we're in shotgun. 
nobody in the backfield got five wide receivers out there so what we're looking at here it's kind of like a sticks concept except they're gonna run a curl here this guy's gonna run a curl here that way this guy can get open right outside the numbers and these guys are going to be kind of distracting this this whole situation here so either this wide receiver has to beat this guy here or this guy here to get open which he did but the play gets ran on the other side where this guy has to beat this inside nickel and right in between the safety and michael pratt gets this ball right in there so i need to just want y'all to watch this greatness here gets right up there sticks is kind of working it kind of ran slow on the other side ball is completed ball is kind of low here but just look look at his base base is good gets it right in between them you can't ask for a better ball than all right last play i want to show you guys here is you know how i like throws outside the numbers i think they totally define a quarterback especially backside throws outside the numbers but this was just a sneaky good ball on the second and seven as uh they're running kind of a bootleg i mean Tulane is known to get those short passes get up field get a first down so we didn't really get to see a lot of this showcase from from michael pratt but when when he did he was really good at it so let's watch his bootleg here fix the handoff bootleg out and gets it right outside the numbers here for his receiver only where he can get it one foot in bounds and that was a beautiful play that was made there by michael pratt the whole setup was nice from the fake to getting that bootleg out and getting it right on the sideline where his receivers can catch that's arm talent that's really good positional throws and this is the type of stuff you're going to see not all the time because they weren't asking him to do that get the ball downfield run the ball up the middle bam 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 plays all the time but it opens up plays like that to get first downs and put his team in good position now decision making is i think the single most important attribute for a quarterback obviously i have a 40 point scale for that as and with arm talent so those are the two top with athleticism being at the 20s but the reason why decision making is so important we need to know the risk of throws is it a chain mover you know are you forcing the ball are you making the making the correct throw sometimes it's not a correct throw to be made and instead he's trying to be a playmaker versus a a ball player type of situation is what i always describe to my guys as well and throwing versus running you know with, with bo nix and what you see from his film he was staying in the pocket until it absolutely collapses and use use his legs to get out and, and make a play so with michael pratt he falls at a 35 out of 40 for me now again with the limitations of the offense like we were saying before he was forced to throw these little dink and dunk passes but when he was asked to make a big play outside the numbers throw to move the chains that was the throw he was going to make and that's why Tulane won so many games and that's why he broke so many records with them as well and i don't want to say it's always the athleticism of all the players around him i mean he still got to get the ball there and he still has to make it a catchable ball so i think his decision making and his smarts is what's going to get him through the next level level and have a really good career if he can work on the other things with the arm talent and learn a new system that can cater around his strengths but decision making is so important he always tends to make the right decision to put his team in good positions hey the games that he missed this year and you know in previous years with injuries and things like that if he was in those games it might have looked a little different and i think anybody that's ever watched him play can tell you that michael pratt was an important part of that offense especially in the past game when it was slow with other players all right, so you got to watch this play a couple times to actually understand that Michael Pratt actually made the right decision here by keeping the ball and running it when he probably could have got it to the flat. But I think this is more of a smart play. So what we're looking at here is a formation with 12 personnel. How you can recognize that is a two tight end set with a single backfield. We also have this wide receiver in motion to kind of spread out this defense. Uh, to see if there was man-to-man -man coverage. Well, th this guy's going to come out, but this is obviously zone coverage here and what we're going to see michael pratt fakes handoff to number six comes out and this guy gets totally destroyed on this block by the right tackle this guy was left by himself here in the flat and 
this guy's actually coming here to take out that guy if there was a pass here. Now, what you're probably asking yourself, why didn't he just get it to the flat? Second and six situation, this probably could have been a tackle for loss here, depending on how fast that this backer was. Easy route here. Everybody is pretty much on a man all downfield. The only guy that he had to get away from was this off, you know, this defense alignment right here that's right behind us. So let's watch it. Gets out the pocket and gets down and gets his team a first down, and they're able to get up the field and not have to worry about a, th a third in distance or anything like that, putting their kicker in a, you know, particularly bad situation to uh miss miss three points because at this level kickers aren't all that fantastic but this is absolutely the right decision by michael pratt all right now we're starting to get into a little variation of that two lane offense that i was telling you about so we saw 12 personnel now we're going to recognize this as 21 personnel with two running backs here in the backfield He's gonna send this guy out to the flat in motion. But I want, to, want you to do is particularly watch this guy right here, this corner, and see if he recognizes that in the flat. And then what we're gonna see is this tight end come up right here, kind of through the seams behind the linebackers to make a play in between two guys on a, on a comeback route here. So uh, this was absolutely the right decision here as well. And it's it's second and 15. And what he's trying to do is just slice this field in half instead of, again, taking a loss down here or, you know, getting this guy out of bounds and barely getting a yard. Um, it, you know, it's the second quarter tie game, seven minutes to go before halftime. So let's watch this, how this plays out here. So he sends that guy in motion. Watch the comeback from the tight end right here in between three guys, actually. And that ball comes out pretty quick. Gets to the tight end and it cuts that field straight in half. So this is the type of stuff you you love to see as well. Stay patient in the pocket. Trust that your guys are gonna come up and make make good decisions and you know be in the positions that you need them to. Ball comes out quick and you know avoids that that dink and dunk situation that you see a lot. This is more of a pro style throw than you know sticking it out in the flats and, and watching things happen he's not afraid to kind of risk it and actually read the fill before he makes that you know the easy throw which i i commend now when it comes to athleticism for a quarterback that's so few and far between of what you know people actually look at and want on their team now as far as what michael pratt can bring he's a little confusing to watch because sometimes he can be electric when he runs and other times it's just it looks like a lazy run but it works because it gets a first down but you know what i consider to be athleticism footwork evasiveness scrambling ability and if they have any type of running back moves as far as finesse can they spin move stiff move you know stiff arm truck guys which i don't really like seeing quarterbacks do that but there's some quarterbacks that try to aka Jaden daniels but as far as his athleticism score i gave it a 13 and that might seem kind of low for some of the sh some of the plays i might show you as far as what michael pratt is capable of is a smart runner that gets down doesn't take a lot of hits will sacrifice himself if he's trying to get that first down but most of the time it's a smart run to get up filled and when it came to decision making you've seen it let's go ahead and dig dive into the film and show you his athletic ability as we see it today so this play in particular is a very very good play as far as his decision making is concerned but i did want you guys to look at the athletic ability to not only keep his feet moving but to move up in the pocket and try to see if there was somebody available so let's go ahead and start this we you know got trips all the way to the left side of the field but this whole defense is ready for it. I mean, they pretty much have six deep here, uh, ready for any pass. It's third and 18. Just, just trying to see if there's gonna be any type of uh, downfield momentum that would be generated from the pass. It is fourth quarter, two minutes and 37 seconds, and they are trailing 26 to 14, just to kind of give you the situation. So Michael Pratt steps back nice little base steps up in the pocket and as you see i'm um, not not sure if you guys see this but there is a hand on him as well so talking about just you know mustering through powering through 
He's looking, he's looking. Doesn't want to get it to the running back here. He's going to utilize him as a blocker. Get downfield, get the first down, and he's going to slide. What a super athletic, super smart play from Michael Pratt. And this is the stuff that he's not going to put himself in danger. And he's going to utilize every single piece that's there to make sure that the team can advance downfield, especially in a down and distance situation. Unfortunately, this was flagged, but you got to love the effort out of Michael Pratt here. So there you have it, guys. Arm talent, decision-making, athleticism. Michael Pratt scored a 77 out of 100, which is way above average at this point. A, a, lot of, a lot of the guys that we had last year were scoring in the 70s, but there's things that can be worked upon, and I think that's the positive side from him. He already has the traits of keeping the ball safe. He already has a decision-making. He's already played, you know, in a pro-style offense, you know, mostly. He's had really good running backs as far as, like, Ty J Spears is concerned with his one year and he's never really had a thousand yard receiver which he's going to find that bona fide receiver in the nfl jaquan jackson you know has had injury concerns his pretty much his whole college career and we saw it at the senior bowl those guys had a really good connection as well but as far as the scoring is concerned this is a very solid score from michael pratt i actually have him as one of my favorite quarterbacks coming out in this class as well so keep a lookout for that video as far as some other traits that we probably didn't discuss here but need to be mentioned i mean he spreads the ball around to everybody and that's partially why you know outside of his receivers having some issues with injuries he he gets it to everybody the running backs the tight ends the wide receivers they all ate you know what i'm saying <laughs> and if they were to line up a, a offensive lineman at one point i'm sure they were going to get the ball eventually but that's a very good trait from him and it he spreads the ball out and what it makes is your offense dynamic because it's not only just one person that they have to look out for it's a multitude of of weapons and that might not be so attractive in the nfl when you have receivers like justin jefferson and things like that that are going to want the ball it also makes your offense dynamic which is great we'll take a sack to avoid forcing passes i love this out of him and i think this should be taught more he's very smart with the ball but instead of forcing the ball downfield on like a first and second down just take the sack there there's a lot of quarterbacks like drake may for example i know people love him but he forces balls all the time and 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 causes interceptions for his team or could be interceptions for his team or fumbles and you know you don't have that problem out of michael pratt he's probably the, one of the safest quarterbacks outside of bo Nix to me that protects the ball pretty much for the most part and he ran a pro style type of offense we've seen it the 12 personnel the 22 personnel out in shotgun he has got great footwork in the pocket as well that's going to be very appealing to, to nfl teams like i said he's going to make whatever quarterback room inside the nfl even better because he's going to bring the professionalism of knowing how to play the game of football to any team that he goes to now everybody always asks for pro comparisons as well so i'm gonna go ahead and give you that josh dobbs as far as arm talent i mean josh dobbs is able to make so many different throws in the nfl fell dink and dunk and let's let's get a ball down the field here and there and you know protect the ball you know as, as far as like the good side of what josh dobbs can do we have seen that but as far as like the decision making at the, the athleticism he reminds me a lot of what brock purdy can do brock purdy is very smart with the football you know a lot of people call him a game manager and i guess people are going to call mike pratt a game manager too but there is an importance to not turning the ball over in the next league and brock purdy this year kind of opened up the way that he can grant out of the pocket and make plays with his feet and we saw it throughout the playoffs and you know we saw it towards the end of the season last year you know this well this this past season as well so those are the pro comps for michael pratt i kind of see him as a combination of both i hate just giving one player because not what well, a player is just one exact carbon copy of another so i think that's what i'm going to continue on this series kind of give you two players where i see them meshing together and if they had to create a you know a, a nfl monster on their own it would you know these two would have created michael pratt so i appreciate you guys for watching this has been dante with east coast gridiron keep an eye out for these videos it's draft season i put a lot of work into these it takes a long time but i enjoy them and i want you to take you know not only a different approach on when you whenever you watch film or watch players come here watch the slider series and see how my evaluations turn out at the end of the day at the end of the day i want all these players to do well and it all depends on coaching and and and, and how they're going to translate to the next level so i might not always be right but from what i've seen on film michael pratt 77 out 
about 100 for a quarterback. Look out for the community section on YouTube. We're going to be dropping a poll on who the next player I'm going to do for sliders. It's all up to you guys. So make sure you go and check that out. Like I said, this has been Dante with East Coast Gridiron. This has been Sliders. Hope everybody has a good rest of their week.